Good evening from London. Here are some news from the war in Gaza. Israel has bombed a hospital, killing hundreds of innocent people. More, more. Much better. With more details, our Middle East correspondent, Harry Whitegilt. Good evening, Rachel, from the illegal colony of Tel Aviv. Israeli officials has denied bombing the hospital, but we have video footage showing what really happened indeed. Absolutely shocking, Harry. Yeah. We got this video from Hamas, the most credible not terrorist organization in the world. I'm sorry, Rachel, I've got some terrible news. The United States Pentagon says it has evidence Israel did not bomb the hospital. W wait, what? <laughs> what? Well, I, I guess it's going to be one of those things we can never be sure about. Like how the Jews knew about 9-11 and did not go to work that day. Mm, no, they just published recording of Hamas freedom fighters admitting they were the one who fired the missiles by mistake. Is it the audio all of him? And I read it that he's still on the bed, he's still on يا الله بسيدة لا نرى أولاي هيوش ما كما هو مهم كأخذ باحيم يعني تل عسل تل باصل Well, I guess we'll never know exactly what happened لا لا زي عناخنو It's just going to stay a mystery شو ميستري يا مجنونيم Mm, but it's still Israel's fault, indeed. Of course, of course, because... Because the Israeli blockade prevented Hamas from getting proper functioning missiles, and this is why tragic accidents like this happens indeed. Thank you so much, Harry. Good night, everyone, and remember, Israel is ISIS.